Veronica. This is Veronica. Veronica, thanks to the quarantine, I've had lots of time on my hands and have been watching your videos nonstop. Yay! I find all of them, especially position reviews, extremely helpful. I'm 17, been writing for six years. Thank you so much for your time and advice. It's so amazing that you're offering these videos. I really appreciate it. Well, we appreciate you also watching. Okay, so here is Veronica. All right, so as we're watching it, we'll go back to what we were talking about, the other writer, and I'm going to start from the head back down. So as I watch it, first of all, she's a lovely writer. You know, she's so soft, eh? So soft, and I like how yeah. when she ends this line, the horse gets a little fussy with his head. You don't see her react at all. She, no, she, she just says, quiet. okay, big deal. Yep, we got no, this. No big deal. No big deal. That's so just... now as we're watching her go around, you can see that her leg has a tendency to turn. Her toes have a tendency to turn. There, she's using the back. Yep. This is going to, this really starts at her thigh. She has to roll that thigh back and then get the feeling as she's cantering. Instead of, what she's doing is she's hugging with her calf to keep her balance. Yeah, so she she needs to relax her whole leg down. I mean, if if I had this rider come come to me, I think what I would do is go up and always ask, is it okay if I touch your leg? Is grab her ankle and kind of like what you were saying before, without maybe not with the, the stirrup, but without the stirrup and just pull it back towards the horse's stifle and then push it forward and in because it looks like to me that she's like you say she's kind of chair position well, she's gripping so, like i said with the outside of her calf which with the outside cut part of her calf right here well, yeah she, she's gripping because at the level that she's at with her riding and that's a nice like i said she looks really good but she's ready to go into the next level because she's balancing herself with her calf instead of her anchoring into her lower legs and her stirrups because you can see here, it's almost like the stirrup leather is going to go slack. You can see it, right? You can feel it. Yeah, there's not. There, her heels are down, but yep. there's not a, a lot of weight there. The stirrup, she needs. That's right. That, she needs that to come. Leather's going to go loose and start flapping. Like go to the next step. I'll bet the stirrup leather gets loose instead of straight up, straight up and down. I think she takes the weight out of her lower leg unconsciously, and she puts it to hold onto the horse with her calf and her knee see it and this is going to now at this point she's going to leave the saddle early yeah i'd like to see her knee come down it's just it just seems yes. to be doing i'm just going to let it go here because she's holding with right here you can see this is where she's she's giving. leaning on to her knees to get him with the horse that's right she's just standing yep. on her knees you can see here she's lost the bottom part of her leg I mean, it's slipped correct. back. It looks me, correct. To, it but looks the, correct. That's really right. key. So but for me, in there. and look at how far her seat has come out of the saddle. Even for the jumping, she's jumping. Yep, she's already her. she's already over top of the jump, and the horse is just <laughs> leaving the ground. That's right. So t to me, this looks like a pivot point, yep. and then her leg goes back, and her body goes forward, which is basic mechanics. But we're, yeah. and again, we're being, you know, you sent the pictures in, we're being really picky and we appreciate you letting us use you as an example for other people to see, because this is, you're a beautiful rider. Yeah, it's we're great. I mean, exactly. She's, she's, uh, you know, she's not get interfering with the horse. She's right. staying with the horse. There's nothing really wrong with it, but mm -hmm. she's. Ready you can see that level. she's pinching with her knee and, and the weight needs to come down into her lower leg and her her inside part of her leg needs to come on the horse rather than turning the toes out and getting the back of her calf on. What exercises can we do? Well, it's the same ones that we find work with just about everybody, like a rider like this. All she needs is to be aware of when she loses the feel of being anchored into her lower leg. So it's something Okay, like so we'll get back back minutes, it up. So how minutes. does she know when she loses her lower leg? How does she know that? What well, does she, she what she can do is she can do some exercises because it's all about the exercises we use to retrain our body. So the yeah, yeah, sure. But how, how, oh, you can really see here her leg swinging. If you focus on just her leg, I wonder yep. if I can make it bigger. She's you can see. She's a great bareback rider, but for her two-point position, five minutes at a time. Just doing two-point position when you first get out there and all your goal will be 
is to go into two point position at you know the when you go start at you know relax warm up at the walk then as soon as you go into the trot and all you have to do in your two point position is make sure you'll feel that your horse let me see if i can do this here you'll feel that the horse is doing this in the movements you feel your legs doing this all you have to do is feel right leg left leg right leg left leg can you feel the spring if you don't feel the spring in your lower leg when you're doing the two-point position or the canter or the walk then you're not in your stirrups and you've locked up somewhere in your position as a so result of, of course the other exercises control. the other one we do the threes where you do whatever number you choose it's easier if you start with like five or six because it gives you more time to count I've known people who can't count to six when they first do this because it's a hard exercise. It sounds easy. All you have to do is, for example, rise and trot. Uh, we're going to start with a trot. So six steps, two point position, feel in the spring. Six steps, two rising or posting. And yeah, the, I call steps. that the up, up, down or the up, 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 down exercise. I like right. that exercise. So you stand up in your stirrups for I say two or three or four or five steps and then count the number of rising trot steps. Now the important thing about when you start doing the rising and the, you know, the posting trot movement is you're going to feel when you normally, like with this rider, I would say they might have a tendency to, she probably lands in the saddle a little bit quick. So when you're doing your, with when you're going around in your position, just feeling that you're springy, you're going to do the six two point position, six rising trot, the rising trot, when you rise, you should feel it in your thighs and then sink it down into your legs where there's a spring. When you fall, you'll find at first when you're doing this, you're probably going to fall back into the saddle. It's because you're not rolling back on your thighs and landing on your seat bones. You're probably going back on your rump. Yeah. The other, the, the third one is sitting trot. You may not be able to sit six steps. It's okay. That's where you practice using your two points. Well, then if you can't do six steps, you do three steps. That's right. Are you and going then work up to four going? steps, then work up to five steps. And in between, just add post and trot. Like if you're yep. working on, if you can't sit, as soon as you feel your, because we use this in teaching people how to length, ride, extend, and trot. All you have to do is, if you can only sit two beats, then the next beat do one step. Of, uh, of the rising trot and then come down again. So this is a normal part of the process of learning how to sit trot. So when you look at this rider, uh, you can see if you just focus on her leg, I'm just going to make it a little bigger here as best as I can. If you just watch her lower leg, it when she lands, you can see that here it looks like it's, to me anyway, it looks like her stirrup has gone forward. Her leg has gone forward there. So, close it. So when we review it, her leg is back. You can see when she approaches, it's back and it there. And that's when her seat back, back yeah. forward, You're falling to the back, back the side. forward. Look at her leg right there in that position. I mean, and this is so great because we can stop the video and look at each frame. You can see here her her lower leg is forward, and what has happened to her heel? It looks like there's no weight down in her heel here. So, and then back, and then forward again. So her leg is swinging, and that means that your weight is not coming down into your ankle. And for me, when a, a good exercise for that for, for me is to two point. And all the exercises that Randy mentioned as well, too. Those are all really good exercises. I like to do two-point position at the walk and at the trot. And if it, if you find to get that weight down into your heel, so your heel is flexing with the motion of the trot. And if you're finding that's a little too easy, then start putting up trotting poles or raised poles on the, on the ground. Raised those poles on the ground. Those are also great for teaching, for learning how to feel the spring for those of you. Who exactly. Are so we're set them out like for the trot. Three and a half feet is a good one to start with because you know most horses are the stride ones. Set so up a row up. Set up two first, and then three, and then four in a row, and try your trot. Try your trots over that. You'll notice the spring, especially going over the poles. But just start with the ones. 
right? It's the same. What are your final words, Randy? We'll see you on the other side of the fence. Yes, and I like to say, hey, go use this stuff. Go hug your horse. Go use this stuff. Thanks now, and thank you so much, everybody, for sending in your videos and pictures. Really appreciate it. Send me an email, thistleridge at hotmail.com. Thanks now. Now go use this stuff. Go hug your horse. Bye. Bye.